In a pivotal scene from Summer's latest blockbuster, The Meg, Jason Statham, playing rescue diver Jonas Taylor, looking fit as ever in an extra tight wetsuit hurls himself into the ocean with nothing but a spear gun and swims toward a humongous prehistoric shark. As his colleagues look on anxiously from the relative safety of their boat, Statham makes his way toward the titanic man-eating creature, humming the tune from, Finding Nemo, Just Keep Swimming, Just Keep Swimming. His goal, tag the beast's fin so his team can track its whereabouts, mind you, beyond having a taste for human flesh, this 75-foot shark known as the Megalodon is light and sound sensitive. So any quick movement can trigger its killer instincts. But into the ocean goes Statham anyway. Yes, this movie is every bit as ridiculous as you're thinking. But what did you expect? For the past few years, theatergoers have been given an array of saltwater treats to tide us over between shark weeks. We've seen a wounded Blake Lively defeat a killer shark with the help of a seagull in The Shallows 2016, and watched as Mandy Moore and Claire Holt faced the horrors of the deep after their diving cage drifts to the ocean floor in 47 meters down 2017. 2018 gives us the Meg, which calls back to another absurd yet iconic open water, flick, Deep Blue Sea, 1999, about genetically modified sharks who stock LL Cool J and company in an isolated underwater facility. If you like that one, you'll be all for the Statham vehicle, the Meg, and American Chinese Warner Brothers. Collaboration directed by John Turtletaub and based off the book by Steve Alton, focuses on oceanic research facility Mana 1, run by scientist Drive. Minwei Zhang, Winston Chow, and his oceanographer daughter Su Yin, Li Bingbing, and financed by kid-like billionaire Jap Morris, Rain Wilson. Zhang and his team are attempting to dive farther into the depths of the Mariana Trench, where they believe there is an undiscovered ecosystem. So they send a submarine with a crew of three to test the waters and soon discover that, yeah, there are new life forms on the deep, dark ocean floor, including a gigantic, smart, relentless shark who attacks their sub. After the attack, the three find themselves trapped underwater, stranded with little oxygen. That's when Taylor, Statham, comes in to hopefully save the day. Alas, like a moth to a razor-toothed flame, he too gets wrapped up in the discovery and destructive nature of the prehistoric Meg. Man vs. Meg isn't a fight, he says at one point, it's a slaughter, throughout the movie's hour and 53 minutes, there's action, helicopters galore, terror, tiny, dog vs. Giant shark, and love, wet and shirtless, stay them. Plus, 10-year-old newcomer Shuya Sophia Kai steals every scene she's in as Sujin's daughter Mei Ying, a curious little girl whose one-liners and mischievous looks melt even the heart of Steely Statham. It's Divine, American film director and producer John Turtletaub, child actress Shuya Sophia Kai, actress Li Bingbing, English actor Jason Statham and Australian actress Ruby Rose attend the premiere of The Meg on August. To in Beijing the best part comes toward the climax of the film when the Meg is headed straight for the shore where hundreds of vacationers are waiting in the water, sitting in neon inflatable tubes or lying on rafts. A la Jaws, it starts out with a dog named Pippin enjoying a swim before all hell breaks loose. The Meg enters the scene, dragging floats, eating swimmers and generally terrorizing children. It's somehow visually stunning, incredibly scary and absolutely hilarious all at the same time. Just keep your eyes on Ice Pop Kid and you'll get it. In terms of the shark itself, the film's special effects are pretty solid, despite the fact that the animal appears primarily as a fin rising up on the horizon. But don't worry, you get your classic Statham verses. His enemy moment, because what would this film be without an iconic underwater brawl scene? All in all, the Meg is exactly what you want it to be, a thrill ride full of deep sea adventure and beyond cheesy dialogue. Not only did we fail, but we failed science, Dr. Jang sincerely mutters to laughs from the audience, if you're looking to be entertained from start to finish, well. The movie's opening scenes try too hard to get you invested in its lackluster, and soon-to-be-dead characters. 
so give it 30 minutes or so before throwing in the beach towel. The last hour is the show you were waiting for, the Meg Pitts Theater Friday, related coverage the best shark attacks in movies, 47 meters down, cast face real danger while shooting shark flick all the answers to the questions we had about the shallows. Download.